A major escalation in the crisis in eastern Ukraine. Hundreds of pro-Russia separatists seized the regional government's headquarters and the prosecutor's office. They targeted provincial buildings in this small city of Lukansk, less than 30 kilometers from the Russian border. Having control of this area would give separatists sway over the entire Donbass coal field, which accounts for around a third of Ukraine's industrial output. Shouting, rise up, they gathered outside, demanding a referendum on greater autonomy. Most of the people in this area speak Russian as their first language. A group of men armed with sticks and bars broke into the building. They pulled down the Ukrainian flag flying from the roof and replaced it with the Russian tricolor. Crowds of pro-Russian activists then overran the prosecutor's office before attacking the headquarters of the Interior Ministry's police force. Here, some activists can be seen opening fire, trying to force the officers inside to surrender. The UN political affairs chief briefed the Security Council on the latest violence. Groups of militia and armed civilians are increasing in number and springing up in more and more cities across the region, seizing buildings, mounting roadblocks, and shutting whole towns and communities off from the rest of the country. There are increasing reports of torture, kidnappings, and violent clashes. The deteriorating conditions come despite new Western sanctions on Russia. The sanctions are seen as mild, and while a small number of names were added to the blacklist, threats to take more serious measures were put on hold.